Good morning. I've just been to Buckingham Palace and accepted His Majesty the King's invitation to form a government in his name. Right now, our country is facing a profound economic crisis. The aftermath of COVID still lingers. Putin's war in Ukraine has destabilized energy markets and supply chains the world over. I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Liz Truss. She was not wrong to want to improve growth in this country. It is a noble aim. And I admired her restlessness to create change. But some mistakes were made. Not born of ill will or bad intentions. Quite the opposite, in fact. But mistakes nonetheless. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your Prime Minister, in part, to fix them. I will place economic stability and confidence at the heart of this government's agenda. This will mean difficult decisions to come. The government I lead will not leave the next generation, your children and grandchildren, with a debt to settle that we were too weak to pay ourselves. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. I will work day in and day out to deliver for you. This government will have integrity, professionalism, and accountability at every level. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. That I am not daunted. I know the high office I have accepted, and I hope to live up to its demands. But when the opportunity to serve comes along, you cannot question the moment, only your willingness. So I stand here before you, ready to lead our country into the future, to put your needs above politics, to reach out and build a government that represents the very best traditions of my party. Together, we can achieve incredible things we will create a future worthy of the sacrifices so many have made and fill tomorrow and every day thereafter with hope. Thank you.